meal time for dairy cows at a barn run by the University of California. They look like any other cattle, but these animals are on a special diet. Okay, okay, great, yeah. Amias Cabrab says sprinkling a seaweed compound into their feed causes these cows to produce about half as much methane. We are completely surprised by this. The reduction that we see is actually almost immediate. The cows eat while breathing into a sort of breathalyzer. It measures the content of their burps, which account for most of the methane they produce. The UN says livestock generates nearly 15% of greenhouse gas emissions produced by human activity. While methane makes up a much smaller percentage of these gases than carbon dioxide, it's about 80 times more potent than CO2 in warming the planet. While these cows are fed their seaweed diet here at this research facility, the work on deciding what should go into that food is done in the lab. We call it our lab artificial gut. We have this up and down motion that helps uh, keep, keep the fluid mixed as you would see inside of an actual cow. This machine mimics cows' stomachs to test the effectiveness of the seaweed. We have them from pretty much all over the world. Researchers are experimenting with different types of seaweed to find out which work best and which are most palatable. Many of them can be quite bitter. They found cows prefer their seaweed mixed with molasses to disguise the salty taste. Kiprab's research has received funding from the state of California. It wants to reduce livestock methane emissions by 40% by 2030. Kiprab sees urgency in his work as global demand for meat surges, particularly in developing nations. You don't have as high efficiency as, as in the developed world, which means that you need more animals, and more animals equals more emissions. Kiprab believes his research will also breed a new industry. Seaweed production done on a commercial scale for use in agriculture, possibly within the next five years. Steve Moore, TRT World, Davis, California.